Hi boys and girls, this is your language arts e-learning lesson for Wednesday, April 29th. So today we've basically, um, the, over the last few days, we have finished up working with adjectives. And so for today and tomorrow, you're going to be doing a little uh, review and practice with adjectives, showing me all that you've learned. So take a look please on page 166. 166, this is the checkup for unit four, okay, all about adjectives. So today you're going to be working on completing all of page 166. That's numbers one to 45. But in each case, you're just simply writing one or two word answer. So let's take a look. Section number one, what is an adjective? And the directions tell you to write each adjective and the noun or pronoun that it describes. And do not include the adjectives a and the. All right, so for example, sentence number one, Denmark is a small kingdom, and you need to write the adjective. The adjective is small, and then you're told that you need to write the noun or the pronoun that it describes. So small is the adjective, and kingdom would be the noun that it describes. So you would simply write small kingdom, okay? You'll do the same thing from numbers one all the way down to 28. So everything in this first column is where you need to write the adjective and the noun or the pronoun that it describes, okay? And then in the second column, going up to number two, articles and demonstratives, and you're told to write the word in parentheses that completes each sentence correctly. So remember that you have the articles called, uh, that rather that are a, an, and the, those are the articles. They are special adjectives called articles, a, an, and the. And then you have demonstratives, and the demonstratives are um, this and that, these and those. All right, all you have to do here though for numbers 29 down to 39 is to simply write the correct answer. Whether it's a correct article or a cor the correct demonstrative, you're simply writing the correct answer. Okay, and then finally for today, numbers 40 down to 45, write the correct form of each adjective in parentheses. Now, when you're writing a form of an adjective, it might mean that you need to add er or est to the end of the adjective, or it could mean that you have to use more or most with the adjective. Again, doesn't matter which section here you're working on, they give you the page that you can go back to if you need any additional help. So completing this section where you're comparing with adjectives, any questions you're not sure about, um, go back to page 158. See if you can find what you need there to help yourself out. In section two, articles and demonstratives are found on page 156. And what's in an adjective that's found on page 152. So again, they show you the page numbers that you can go back to if you need some additional help. Okay. All right, so you'll be completing all of page 166 today. That's numbers one to 45. And then we'll finish up with the unit four review tomorrow. Okay, also today you have spelling city, which is uh, you're working on match it definitions. So spelling city, that's match it definitions. And you have the wordly wise test today for lesson 13. You know that you get the, the you can find the link for that um, in RenWeb. Also, I do send you that link in your Gmail. So uh, make sure that you complete that and don't forget that that's through Quizlet and as I said I do send you the link for that but you also need to make sure that you take a picture of your grade when you have completed the test. And then today for fever that's chapter 23 read fever chapter 23 and answer the questions. 
And if you have any questions while you're working on any of these things throughout the day, please reach out to me so that I can help you with it. Okay, I will see you later. Bye.